The President, please be seated. The President, the court is now back in session. Nous reprenons l'audience. As the Chamber informs the parties and the public on Friday last week, la semaine dernière vendredi, la Chambre en a déjà informé les parties et le public. Last week, the chamber was adjourned due to the poor health of one of the witnesses. While he was providing his testimony through the remote communication, par videoconference. If his health situation improves today. We shall continue. However, his health is still not that good in order to provide his testimony. Il n'est pas encore bien, car son état de santé ne lui permet pas de déposer. The chamber decides to continue questioning the accused. And we informed you on last Friday. Ainsi que cela avait été prévu vendredi dernier. For that reason, we will start questioning the accused Nunchia this morning. Nous allons poursuivre ce matin l'interrogatoire de Nunchia et je demande au personnel de sécurité to bring the accused to the dock. au box. The President, good morning, Mr. Nunchia. You may speak now. Nunchia, during the last few days, even if the court is not in session, my health is still not that great. I feel the dizziness. However, I'll try my best to fulfill my duty before the chamber. And I would seek your permission to rest when the time comes, and I could not continue. Et je voudrais vous demander thank la you, Mr. De President. Une pause, uh, si, uh, je me sens the President, thank you, Mr. Nunchia, for notifying oui, the Monsieur Chamber. Pour, uh, you are also reminded cela, that the Chamber will continue questioning you uh, que nous allons donc poursuivre aujourd'hui votre interrogatoire the morning session. le matin uniquement. And in the afternoon session, the chamber will commence questioning Mr. Ian Sari and Kyo Sampong. And after midnight, we will proceed to interrogatory 
des deux autres oui, accusés. Il y a Xavier qui est into consideration your health condition Ceci for this arrangement. Ceci notamment que nous prenons en compte votre état de santé. Of course, we do face difficulty, and we observe the difficulty when the security guard uh, bring the accused to the dock. Nous le constatons notamment pour ce qui est de I think vous amener you should make the arrangement for the accused to sit in the wheelchair so that it can be pushed easier than let uh, him walk. Avoir un siège roulant, I would like now to give the floor to Judge Cartwright to continue her questioning of the accused. You may take the floor now. Je vous en prie, Madame. Thank you, President. Judge Cartwright, merci, Monsieur le Président. Nguyen Chia, last week on the 6th of November, la semaine dernière, le 6 novembre, you gave a, a very helpful, detailed analysis of the development of Communist Party of Kampuchea strategy. I will just summarize two or three of your, point, your points before asking you a further question about this. You told the chamber that at the request of Tusamut, you and Pol Pot spent four to five years between 1955 and 1959 discussing and developing strategy. You also told us that this meant you analyzed the status of the people of Cambodia and found that peasants from the rural areas were oppressed by feudalists and, capital and colonialists. As the result of your analysis, it was decided that a national revolution was essential to combat against the influence of capitalists and to combat foreign interference. Now, can I just ask you to confirm that Je voudrais maintenant que vous that whole ceci policy, strategic and tactical la lines, politique, la ligne was discussed la ligne at the first party general assembly? Is that what you told the court last week? Good morning, Mr. President, Your Honours. Let me clarify my statements that I made at that time. Préciser ce que j'ai dit antérieurement. I said. The true nature of the Cambodian society is half colonial, que la vraie nature half de la feudalism. Était semi -colonial, semi -feudal. Therefore, the task of the revolution of the democratic Cambodia at that time Par conséquent, à is to eliminate la révolutionnaire du Kampuchea démocratique the remnants of the half colonialism, half feudalism, de cette société mi -féodal, mi -colonial. and to oppose and resist Il aussi résister. the half capitalism. It means to liberate the nation ce qui voulait dire libérer and the people la nation et le peuple to liberate the nation means to eliminate the remnants of the colonialism colonialism ce at qui that time à l'époque du régime colonial 
and to gradually eliminate the feudalist. Il fallait aussi progressivement éliminer However, that is not le feudalisme. Eliminate the capitalist. Et cela ne voulait pas dire Because we are not the socialist revolution. Parce que nous n'y étions pas au stade de la révolution socialiste. Nous revolution. au stade de la révolution démocratique. Which means to liberate the poor persons ce qui veut dire libérer Those who les paysans do not own any piece of land les paysans sans so terre that li their livelihood could be improved de sorte qu'ils aient de meilleurs moyens de subsistance and they could have enough food to eat et and clothes to wear suffisamment pour manger et s'habiller in practice it means to reduce pratique, the rental fee for the land dire réduire les taxes and sur the la fee terre. for the money loaned et réduire le taux so that the persons could have sufficient food to eat et suffisamment à manger so these are the two distinct tasks voilà les deux grandes tâches that we were to carry out and I like que nous nous to make donnés. sure that you are clear on this thank you et j'espère que ces deux tâches yes, thank you very much for clarifying that oui, my question is was your strategic and tactical line discussed at the first party general assembly uh, which was held in September of 1960 <coughs> response, response. The strategic and tactical lines ligne stratégique et tactique were done from the ground level to the upper level. De la base the issues could be raised at the branch level and the commune des questions au niveau des cellules et au niveau des communes. so that they could discuss and analyze the situations in detail. Vous analysez ainsi la situation en détail. After the discussion on those matters, Après quoi, la discussion it could then be submitted to the district committee. Au niveau des comités de district. And from that discussion from the district committee, Et ensuite, it was sent to the sector level, the sector committee. Du comité de secteur. So that we practice the centralized democracy from the ground level to the Nous upper level. Le One of the suggestions have been made, the central party would examine the issues and then the General Assembly was held in order to adopt the strategic and tactical lines as an official one. Et et en faire la ligne officielle du parti. So not only a group of people adopted un groupe de personnes qui adoptaient la stratégie lines, et la tactique, mais c'était le résultat result of the benefit from the ground level up d'une discussion qui était menée au départ à la base. Yes, thank you. I, I now clearly Question. understand how strategic and Je tactical lines were discussed and finally uh, put before the et, uh, first Congress of the Party in September of 1960. Now, last week you said that a national, uh, it was decided that a national revolution was essential. Uh, I want to ask you how a national revolution was to be conducted and was it to include armed struggle? Response. I'd like to make the following comments. That was a stage of the political struggle. On en était au stade alors it was not de yet a political and armed struggle. struggle. The political and armed struggle commenced only in 
1968. On a commencé qu'en 1968. From my recollection, if I am not mistaken, si ma mémoire ne me trompe pas. The period of 1960 up to 1966 or 67 was still a period of democratic revolution. This means we get rid of the remnants of the colonialists who oppressed the people. Qui opprimait les gens. There were still remnants of those Il y avait encore groups. des vestiges. As well as to get rid of the, de ces groupes, the power il fallait aussi of the feudalist. L'influence des féodaux. The movement was done together to get rid of these two groups. Ce sont donc ces deux it commenced at the same time. Which comes under the one banner that is the democratic revolution, qui était la bannière de la révolution démocratique, which is the key to transform the livelihood of the people, des moyens de subsistance de la population, which is an essential part of the strategy. Thank you. Et ensuite, un élément essentiel de la stratégie. In the Revolutionary Flag magazine, Dans issue 8, August 1975, with the document 15, number D243-2.1, there is a, a lengthy part that deals with the history of the building of the revolutionary army of Kampuchea under the leadership of the Communist Party of Kampuchea. Uh, that is found in the um, Khmer ER uh, at page uh, the ERN number 00063328 English uh, ERN 00538966 and French uh, I'm sorry, that was the French number. The English number uh, is 00401491. Now, I just want to ask you about some comments in this section. First, the magazine says the strategic and tactical lines of the Communist Party of Kampuchea were clearly and fundamentally correctly drawn up in 1960 during the First Party General Assembly, even though it is true that our party was created in 1951. The magazine then went on to say, Carders working in the various cities such as Phnom Penh gradually set up and organized our revolutionary army and goes on to say, we chose a name for the army appropriate to those circumstances. There were many names, but one name that I still remember was Secret Defense Unit. Now, my question to you is, do you recall those discussions and the use of that name, Secret Defense Unit, for the beginning of the Revolutionary Army? Response. I would like your honor to ask me in short sentences so that I could recall and respond while the matter has been so long already. Could you please make your question brief on one topic at a time? 
and the vice I would not uh, be able to provide full answers to all your questions. Well, I'll make the matter brief. Was the Revolutionary Army originally called the Secret Defense Unit? Response. Uh, Your Honor, at that time, those à people in authority, that is the Lunol clique, la clique de Lunol, they oppress the people, the peasants, at their own pleasure. Opprimé they arrested and detained the cadres without any reasons given. Sans aucune, sans donner aucune raison. After the Geneva Convention Après and until the year Genève, that you just mentioned, et avant cette date que vous mentionnez, we reviewed the situation. Nous avons examiné la situation. And if we allowed the authority in power to continue that barbarous act against the si revolutionary force, in particular the poor peasants, en particulier les paysans pauvres, the party would be resolved and disappeared le parti because we do not have the means to resist them. We only have our bare hands. De résister. Nous For that reason, nus. we decided que to do the political struggle. However, it was not already the time for the armed struggle. And as you stated, we needed to dit, have the secret defense unit recruited from the children of the peasants in order to defend and to escort the cadres who mobilized from one village to another to village do their task. Pour faire leur Otherwise, the soldiers, the Sinon, police, les soldats, and les, la police the commune chiefs would arrest them at their own will. This, this secret defense unit did not have any weapons. They only had sticks. Elle n'avait que des bâtons. However, the carrying of the sticks were legitimate. Elle, le port de ces bâtons était légitime. Their task were to escort the cadres on mission. D'escorter les cadres en mission. And they were not yet the army. Il n'y avait pas encore d'armée. They were still the defense unit. Ce n'était que des unités de défense. Did the secret defense Question. units also have a further responsibility to covertly smash the enemy, as is stated in that part of the Revolutionary Flag magazine that I have just referred to? Response. The Réponse. Secret Defense Unit did not have the duty pas to kill or to smash. Their duty was to defend the cadres. Their mission was to protect the cadres. So that maintaining secrecy is essential. Et, uh, la, However, they also le have to have weapons to defend themselves. Otherwise, we would be at the mercy of the enemy. The weapons that I refer to Et were just armes, those sticks that I mentioned earlier, the sticks or the knives or the axes, des ou des as ou des those were possessed by the peasants. Des choses que les paysans avaient en leur possession. And their main task was to escort the cadres. They did not have any task of making the arrest or to kill anybody. But in 
the case of necessity, that is Mais when the cadre is attacked si attaqué, or is detained, ou arrêté, this defense unit must de défense, protect the cadre se devait de protéger le at cadre their best ability. Au mieux de leur capacité. Thank you. Voilà. Can I just Question. read you? Uh, a short passage from the Revolutionary uh, Flag magazine when it is talking about the secret defense units. It says this, the mission of the secret defense unit was to defend the revolution's base areas, to defend the revolution's people, to defend the cadres moving around working and to defend the assemblies and the various meetings and in tandem with this to covertly smash the enemy, the government agents and the various reactionaries in order to defend the party, party the revolution, revolution, and the people. Do you agree with that statement in the Revolutionary Flag magazine? De Thank you. Thank you. Uh, question. question. There are two meanings here. Il y a deux sens à ce qui est dit ici. The first one is that the secret defense unit unité secrète did not go and find the spies in order to smash them. Les espions pour, uh, However, Mais in the circumstances of dans les the meetings, uh, and there were spies par exemple, y avait des who wanted to arrest the people who participate in the meetings, this defense unit did have the authority to smash those spies. Thank you. Now, I want to move uh, from there to the birth of the revolutionary army uh, of Kampuchea. Uh, and uh, reference is found in Revolutionary Flag magazine D243-2.1. English ERN 00491411. Khmer ERN 00063021 and French 00504033. In that magazine, it states that on the 17th of January 1968, The covert guard units transformed into organized guerrilla units and opened fire for the first time to strike an enemy position at, de, at Bay Damron village, village de Bay a, a village that was located about 10 or 11 kilometers above Batambong uh, city. Is that a correct statement Alors, to your recollection of that first attack on the 17th of January 1968? Defense, are you referring to the 12th or the 17th? In the Revolutionary Flag magazine, it states the 17th of January 1968. If you wish to correct that date, um, please do so.
Response. Réponse. I'd like to provide my comments on the background of the oui, date so that the information is complete. Et, et compléter ces informations. After the rebellious activities in Samlot, il y a eu uh, une activité insurrectionnelle à Samlot. The Lunar Click sent the Après quoi, army la in the hundreds and thousands des centaines et des milliers to suppress de dans la the zone pour peasants in Samlot. Les paysans de Samlot. Some people were beheaded and the heads were stacked Certains to the fence of their houses. It gradually spread. Cette répression s'est étendue. And the suppression became even more serious. Cette activité insurrectionnelle sur le point d'interprète s'est répandue et la répression s'est également renforcée. The Lono Barbarious Clique, including Kongrun, from the police side, du côté de la police, were so barbarous. A aussi commis des actes barbares. They acted at their own pleasure in killing people. Et ont tué de façon arbitraire. As a result that the people residing in some lot could de not que les stand gens anymore, qui à Samlot they fled non plus into the Bai Jab mountain. Se sont enfuis dans la montagne de Bai Jab. They did not have any food to eat there. Ils n'avaient rien à manger. In order to avoid being arrest, arrested, arrested by those clique. Ils ont donc fui pour échapper clique. aux arrestations. Some other groups of the people there, de gens, from my recollection, were the volunteer units organized by the government. The Gong Chief of Pol, or volunteer unit, were those who were children of the poor peasants who were mistreated and killed et tués. and as they could not stand the situation anymore la situation, and without any instruction they volunteered et aucune instruction. and from my recollection there were a group of seven of them se sont portés volontaires. Je me souviens d'un groupe de sept. In the morning, they went to the police station. Le matin, ils sont allés à la station de police. In Damram village. Dans le village de Bai Damram. And attack that post. Et ont attaqué le poste de police. They seized seven weapons. Ils ont pris sept armes. As a result of that event, la suite de quoi, the armed struggle la lutte armée spread from one location to the next, d'un endroit à l'autre, from the northwest to the southwest, depuis le nord-ouest vers le sud-ouest. And in the southwest, they confiscated a large number of weapons, un nombre ont été and prises. then it spread to the mouvement s'est propagé west. vers l'ouest. Within a period of one year. Ça a pris un an. There were activities in the 19 provinces of Kampuchea. Il y avait une activité insurrectionnelle dans les 19 provinces du Cambodge. Activities were actively involved in 17 of the 19 provinces. Il y avait des activités nombreuses dans 17 des 19 provinces. The movement was not the result of the peasants who became vicious and barbarous. It was the result of the mistreatment by the Lunar and the Sermental and Sermokan and Kurun, who caused all those troubles 
c'était la source du problème the people, avec notamment des arrestations and it caused by those in power at the time not at the initiative of the local people ceux qui étaient au pouvoir the et non pas only la population locale peace. les gens n'aspiraient qu'à la But paix instead, mais they were not given peace and cela, they had no choice but to resist. And if they did not have any résister. weapon to defend themselves, they would be killed. Et s'ils n'avaient pas eu d'armes pour se défendre, ils auraient été tués. This is for your information, John. Voici pour votre information. Thank you, Noon Chia, for that um, explanation. Merci In paragraph 24 of the closing order, it is stated that on that date, 17 January 1968, pursuant to orders conveyed by you, CPK forces attacked the government army post at Bay Damran village. Was this attack mounted on orders given by you? Sur vos ordres? Answer. I would like to object against this. Uh, because at that time I was not uh, living in some lot. I was living in Tassan village. And this movement was voluntary because at that time there was a militia war and I would like to elaborate on this point. What, what constituted the principle of militia war? I had never received any military training. by listening to those uh, who had involved in militia war, they said that uh, the militia men did not listen to the uh, superiors because if they waited for the uh, orders from the superior, they would not seize the opportunity and attack it, or otherwise we would uh, lose the opportunity to attack. And if we uh, did not have the opportunity, we had to create the opportunity si uh, by themselves uh, in order to seize uh, weapons. De saisir des armes, il fallait créer to my knowledge, uh, those militiamen uh, went to uh, war by bringing with them only axes and uh, sticks or so. They did not have uh, guns or arms with them. So uh, they normally attack in order to seize uh, general, those weapons. Les At that time, uh, people living in uh, some load uh, 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 seized uh, those uh, weapons. And uh, eventually, they uh, seized some seven uh, rifles or guns. At that time, they did not even know how to uh, fire the uh, guns uh, at, at that time. So I did not order Donc, this ce attack. Pas moi qui ai donné and de if mener there was an order, it si had to un ordre occur a été donné, at the same times in various places. Il faut que dû être donné and if I au même moment, had ordered it, endroits. there would be si moi qui avait donné not only seven people, but at least there was one uh, company or, y or so in order to carry out the attack. Plus de and, gens but qui what été, I would like to make it uh, precisely clear is that I was not in some load at that time. Je I was living in the sign at that time. À à au de Thank you. Now that particular attack Merci. was later uh, made famous as uh, the Founding of the Revolutionary Army of Kampuchea, was it not? Revolutionary Kampuchea, n'est-ce pas? Answer. Réponse. Well, if there was no 
a revolutionary base, then we would be oppressed and suppressed by the si enemy. Avait pas eu de base révolutionnaire, nous aurions été opprimés et écrasés par As a result, those volunteer villagers who seize the weapons uh, from the soldiers, they took refuge in the forest. Those who came from the southwestern part of the country uh, went into Prairumil jungle. Se sont réfugiés dans la jungle along the Kampung Chenang and Kampung Spu uh, border. À la limite entre les frontières de Kampung so they Chenang et Kampung Spu. Their stronghold over there, Ils but y ont créé their life was misery at that time. They had to live without many things, Mais à including uh, food. Dans la misère. Ils manquaient so they had même to de nourriture. went to various villages begging for Uh, food. Ils sont donc allés and dans they les villages had to pour cultivate, uh, à manger, crops ils uh, for themselves to support uh, themselves. Pour pouvoir, uh, and for manger. your information as well, those militiamen, wherever they went, they brought with them the pumpkin seeds. And wherever they reside, they would uh, plant uh, those uh, pumpkin seeds and ils they could uh, pick those pumpkins in order to feed themselves. Et ainsi, ils pouvaient recueillir ces légumes et les manger. That was, that was all they had to be self-reliant because uh, we at that time knew that uh, farmers or peasants in the remote area were miserably poor. For example, villagers living around Oral Mountain were miserably poor. My question is... Was the Revolutionary Army suivante. of Kampuchea founded in January of 1968? Answer. Réponse. The Revolutionary Army of Kampuchea To my recollection, si mes souvenirs sont bons, started its uh, functioning a on the on the 12th of uh, January 1968. If I, if my memory serves me well, 1968. Pour autant que je me souvienne. And to be honest, at that time, Vietnam, pour être honnête, à l'époque, sought a sanction in. Uh, who sought a sanctuary in Cambodia. Le they criticized the uh, leftist movement in Cambodia. They said that the situation was not yet right, so arms struggle uh, would not be the best solution at that time. Donc, uh, so at that time, Vietnam did not provide any support, but instead uh, they criticized of our uh, movement. In addition to criticisms, uh, they even de uh, frightened us. Le they Vietnam said Well, nous a effrayé it was too adventurous for the communist uh, party of Cambodia to, uh, to conduct armed struggle Kampuchea in this country that's what they said à la lutte armée dans and at that time voilà the uh, party committee did Et not respond to the uh, Vietnam and uh, we said uh, we still maintained uh, our uh, position we position. had to be independent of Vietnam and we have to take hold of our uh, destiny by ourselves So Vietnam did not only verbally criticize us, but they Le actually acted against us as well, for example. En plus, il a pris des mesures à notre rencontre. Even a single arm was not given to, Pas to une us. Seule arme ne nous a été donnée. Ça, c'est un exemple. 
Because our party line diverted. Pourquoi? Parce que il y avait une divergence. They did not want us avec uh, to la ligne de notre parti. Go uh, to Les carry out armed struggle pas uh, together with political struggle. En plus de la lutte politique. That's why when there was a meeting between donc, Central Committee members, the Vietnam counterpart at that time said, uh, warned us that uh, we uh, must not nôtres, uh, carry out armed struggle. And they said, uh, we had to wait uh, until Vietnam could uh, gain a victory, then Vietnam, Vietnam would come and help. Uh, that's what they uh, asked us to remember at that time, Yung Van Linh, uh, who mentioned uh, that. And Lei Yun also echoed uh, this sentiment. Ont exprimé ce sentiment. They said it was too adventurous for uh, the Communist Party to go um, struggle But at that time, we did not care uh, with uh, their criticism. Uh, but the Communist Party Kampuchea maintained its independence and protect its national sovereignty and territorial integrity. And we uh, maintain our position that we have to own our uh, destiny. And whatever Vietnam said, it was their business. That is all, Your Honor. Voilà. Thank you. Now, it's a very long time ago, so I will just Merci. read Cela to you a statement in the same revolutionary flag magazine, D243-1.9, English era, ERN 0049106, Khmer ERN 00063015 and French 00504027. And this statement says 18 January 1977 is the date of the celebration of the ninth anniversary of the founding of the Revolutionary Army of Kampuchea. So do you agree that the Revolutionary Army's founding was always celebrated on the 17th or 18th of January each year? Answer. Réponse. I'm sorry, Your Honor. I Je suis désolé. do not remember. Je ne m'en souviens pas. Because there were many events. Il y a en effet eu beaucoup. The next matter that I would like to ask you about is how the Revolutionary Army uh, was uh, funded. You have said that in its early days, when the secret defense units were forming, that the Carta had only sticks and axes and simple implements like that. Uh, and uh, we know that after bâtons. the attack on Bay Damran village, some weapons Damran, were uh, acquired. But in order to uh, equip the Revolutionary Mais Army of Kampuchea, you must have got financing from somewhere. Can you explain how that developed? Pouvez-vous nous expliquer comment ce financement a été obtenu? To the best of my recollection, si je me souviens bien, the founding date of the Revolutionary Army of Cambodia was on the 12th of January 1968. It was the founding date of the Revolutionary Movement. La date de fondation de ce mouvement révolutionnaire. As for the financial support 
Actually, le the financement? fund was uh, provided by the party members. Party members contribute Ceci apportait leur uh, contribution on a monthly basis of approximately one real. So each riel. Monday contribute one Chaque real. membre apportait une contribution d'un riel. And the members of this revolutionary army are de the uh, people's children. So uh, they receive support from their uh, families. Donc une aide de la part de leur famille. But of course they did not have Mais, uh, surplus entendu, of uh, food. But as you may uh, understand that in Cambodia there was a lot of forests and in the forest there were a lot of wild animals and, dans and birds forêts, then we could animaux, uh, oiseaux, you know, use those donc, animals or birds as, as food. And we used uh, traps nous in order to catch those animals. We used other rudimentary uh, tools in order to catch those animals. So once we animaux, Coach those uh, animals, Lorsque we nous cook them. Ces animaux, and nous as les for uh, rice, uh, we normally butter riz, uh, meat uh, from the uh, wild animals uh, for rice in order to get some rice to, to, to feed uh, themselves. Du riz. Well, during the long period that you were working secretly to uh, develop the strategic and tactical lines of the party, uh, and you were also party, moving around the countryside to meet with Pol Pot and Yang Sari and other uh, figures in the movement, how did you support yourself? Answer. Pol Pot Nung Ying Sari. Réponse. Pol Pot and Ying Sari rarely Sari went down to the base. N'allait que rarement dans les bases. The original uh, base was actually set up in Ratanakiri, in the, east, the uh, northeastern part of the country. Ratanakiri, and I, at that time, resided in Phnom Penh, and I was responsible Penh, for overseeing the operation at the uh, zones. But I, I, do, I do not really catch your zones. question, Your Honours. I, I, I have forgotten what you want to ask. Question. Je ne me souviens plus de ce que vous avez demandé. Juge Cartwright, j'ai demandé comment est-ce que vous aviez réussi à survivre pendant toutes ces années parce que vous ne cultiviez pas, vous ne chassiez pas d'animaux, vous ne faisiez pas de cueillettes, certainement. Comment surviviez-vous Comment faisiez-vous pour vous vêtir, pour vous nourrir et nourrir et vêtir votre famille et également pour couvrir les coûts inhérents à vos déplacements dans la campagne Answer. Réponse. The actually the uh, the uh, base, en the fait, revolutionary base actually supported me. I had nothing. I lived on besoins. the support of others. I went rien. to Je visit other people's houses and they uh, cooked uh, food Les for me, me and they actually offer me whatever they had. Uh, they offer me salt. Avaient. But at that on time, we had salt as one of the staple foods uh, for us. À l'époque, le sel était un aliment essentiel de base. And whenever I live uh, with the people's family, they tried uh, to gens, hide me. They did not famille, let any other people know that I was there. Cacher pour que personne d'autre ne sache que j'habitais chez eux. Sometimes their kids were crying. Parfois because they were hungry. And then uh, those villagers faim. said uh, they would cook porridge uh, for the kids and they would save some rice in order to prepare uh, for, for me. Pour les enfants, and at that time, fruit, the local fruit uh, was sufficient. There were various different kinds of uh, domestic as well as uh, wild uh, fruits. Toutes sortes de fruits, sauvages et autres. 
But if I came to uh, somewhere in Kampong Cham province, uh, there was sufficient food. But when I went Cham, to somewhere manger, around Oral Mountain or some load, uh, people did not Samlot, have uh, sufficient oral, food. Là, At that time, we had uh, cassava or potatoes. We actually had uh, different kinds of potatoes. This was our step for food back voilà then. Était à notre, uh, well, returning base, to the revolutionary question. army of Kampuchea, from those very early Depuis beginnings in 1968, début, it gradually developed into a, a army développée. by the time uh, the, uh, uh, the army armée. entered Phnom Penh on Et the 17th of April, April 1975. How did you acquire the weapons and other Comment equipment needed for an army of that size? Your Honor, at that time, we did not have à enough weapons. Nous pas suffisamment China, of course, did uh, supply sûr, some arms. But uh, Vietnam was armes, responsible for transporting those le arms. Qui était responsable du transport de ces armes. And they take one third of it. Et le Vietnam prélevait un tiers de ces livraisons d'armes. And in addition, they had actually transported those plus, arms, but they did not hand it over to Vietnam us. They ces armes, make an excuse that uh, they had confused or there was any irregularities or so at that time. So uh, we had to uh, uh, we had to look for weapons by ourselves. So that was the trick of Vietnam. Des armes. Voilà le stratagème qui était utilisé par le Vietnam. When in war, Vietnam uh, brought along with them Pendant la uh, guerre, children le Vietnam at the age of 14 or 15. And les they uh, creep and crawl uh, behind 14, them. And once, and once we uh, could seize uh, the weapons, uh, the uh, Vietnamese uh, toddlers would um, pull the leg of the uh, Cambodian armies so that they could not uh, seize the weapons. L'interprète se reprend. C'était bon, des, des enfants de 4 à 5 ans. Lorsque les Cambodiens essayaient de prendre les armes, actually, ces uh, bambins agreed, tiraient uh, aux jambes des at first, uh, that what, once we could uh, seize weapons, we would uh, divide it by two equalities. But unfortunately, that was not the case because Vietnam would uh, seize the weapons and uh, pile it in their own warehouse. Mais les Vietnamiens, en réalité, ont pris toutes les armes et les ont entreposées. Vietnam a promise. Uh, that uh, they would actually share uh, the uh, weapons uh, seized, but unfortunately they did not uh, live up to their words. For example, there was a, a battle somewhere in Krai, and we uh, seized a number of uh, Krake, rocket uh, propellers and artilleries. And then the Vietnamese uh, soldiers uh, told us that, well, ensuite, uh, once you seized uh, those artilleries, uh, you sh should uh, lift uh, those artilleries with us. We would uh, keep uh, them for you for later use. Then I was wondering, how could they uh, keep artillery for us if they sought a sanctuary uh, in our territory? So my understanding was that uh, they did not want us to possess any artilleries or weapons at all. They did not want us to be independent. Uh, they want to dominate uh, us. So that was the true nature of the uh, Vietnamese. 
soldiers at that time. C'était la vraie nature des soldats vietnamiens à l'époque. And that was not all. Et ce n'était pas tout. Looted. One les Vietnamiens se livraient au pillage. Un classic example was that uh, un the oil which was supplied by um, du pétrole China, nous était livré in par la Chine à destination du Ratanakiri. And Vietnam at that time uh, cheated uh, China. They said that where they were residing uh, belongs to uh, Vietnam. And at that time, Pol Pot uh, told the Chinese counterpart that, well, uh, that land uh, did not belong to Vietnam. Actually, Vietnam sought uh, Vietnam, sanctuary on our land. Les homologues que ces terres n'appartenaient pas aux Vietnamiens, mais que les Vietnamiens and avaient trouvé refuge sur notre territoire à nous. And actually, the oil that was supplied uh, by China le pétrole was qui était livré received only par by the Vietnamese, Chine, the Cambodian. C'était uh, les not Vietnamiens qui en prenaient livraison by et non pas them. les Cambodiens. Uh, uh, C'est assez difficile à beyond décrire. What I could describe because they sought sanctuary in Cambodia. They sent their les troops Vietnamiens from northern Vietnam des sanctuaires sur le territoire cambodgien to et envoyaient des uh, the, troupes nord-vietnamiennes uh, pour in South attaquer Vietnam. les forces adverse If dans le sud Vietnam, s'ils uh, envoyaient uh, 20 soldats, of them, uh, could be healthy enough uh, to go to war. 80 of them uh, were sick because they were starving, uh, so they had to rely on Cambodian to support them, uh, food as well as uh, medical support, and they actually live on bananas, uh, fruits uh, from people planting uh, in uh, Ratanakiri province qui était cultivé par la population du Ratanakiri. I think that some people believe that Cambodian, uh, Cambodians should express their gratitude uh, to Vietnam. Uh, but actually, I would like to make it clear that uh, Vietnam, Vietnam should pay gratitude to Cambodia because Vietnam sought sanctuary in Cambodia. You remember that when there was a carpet bombardment of the U.S. along uh, in South Vietnam, they had to come and seek a refuge in Cambodia. And they came to uh, talk uh, with uh, Sao Pem asking for uh, sanctuary. And I, uh, they did not come and talk to me, actually. But once they returned, I talked to Sao Pem of what they uh, came for. And they said that they came to seek a sanctuary in our territory because they could not return to their country because uh, their country was being bombarded by the US. And I report this uh, to Nguyen Van Linh, and Nguyen Van Linh Nguyen told Van Linh, me that Van Linh, later Van on you did not have to bother with that uh, business, let them uh, find a uh, place or sanctuary by themselves. Uh, and I did not understand the motive of uh, his uh, comments. Actually, there has been a lot of stories uh, concerning with uh, Vietnam's involvement in Cambodia. And that is the truth of the history. And I believe that this court wants to find not only justice, but the truth. And that is the truth of the history. And my response to your question now is to uh, make it clear uh, that the, who our enemies are and how our friends are. And it's going to be useful for, uh, for the younger generation. And who is indebted to whom? Remember that when the uh, North Vietnamese soldier came to uh, Cambodia, at that time uh, they did not have anything, not even food uh, to eat. So they had to rely on Cambodia to support them. Uh, Some 50,000 uh, soldiers uh, stationed uh, along the Cambodian uh, Vietnamese border on Cambodian territory. Those who did not know the history, they uh, would be wrong in their uh, 
perception. Actually, uh, Cambodian was not indebted to Vietnam, but instead, uh, Vietnam was indebted to Cambodia because they had to seek a safe sanctuary in Cambodian territory because at that time it was a carpet bombing by the US and they had nowhere uh, to et les Vietnamiens n'avaient aucun reside but non droit pour Cambodian territory. So I would like to make this clear and I hope that I have revealed it uh, to Cambodian people because I strongly believe that uh, many, uh, some people in, in Cambodia uh, believe that Cambodia was indebted to uh, Vietnam and they actually uh, made it, uh, you know, in words uh, and they made it known to the world uh, that uh, Cambodia was liberated by Vietnam, Vietnam has saved Cambodia and so on and so forth, but actually uh, it was another way around because without the uh, Cambodian support, the Vietnamese soldiers would have no place to stay and to stand. That is all for me, Your Honours. Thank you. Uh, before I finish um, putting questions to you, Nguyen Chia, on the um, historical uh, background, uh, I just want to go back to one or two of the matters we discussed last week uh, about the development of um, strategic and tactical lines. I asked you last week uh, if um, during the time that you and Tusamut were discussing the strategic and tactical lines, uh, did you also discuss the development of a statute adopted by the General Congress in 1960? You were a little unsure about when it was adopted, but I'd just like you to look at um, the uh, document that uh, I'm now going to um, ask the court officials to give to you. This is the Communist Party of Kampuchea statute D366-7.1.1. Now that's a copy in the Khmer language, and I just want you to look at that and uh, if you are able to do so, confirm that that was the statute of 30 articles that you referred to last week. Des statuts plutôt dont vous parliez la semaine dernière, statuts qui comprennent 30 articles. Response. Response. From my recollection, the statute 
so composed of eight chapters. Les statues comprenaient huit chapitres. And there shall be 30 articles. Et 30 articles. And the, and the document before me consists only 29 articles, not 30. So once again, there shall be eight chapters of 30 articles of this statute. Well, I wonder if I can just clarify that the Khmer Question. version that uh, Nguyen Chia has in front of him uh, is uh, incomplete because the English version indeed has eight chapters and 30 articles. Could you go to the end of the document that's currently showing on the court officer's screen and uh, see if there is another page. Si y a une page en plus. Microphone for Nguyen Chia, please. Micro pour Nguyen Chia, demande à Juge Crotchet. Mr. Nguyen Chia, the microphone was off when you made your last comments. Do you wish to speak now that it's on? Response. I could not read the text on the screen. Oui, je n'arrive pas à lire le texte sur l'écran. Could the court officer just check Mr. Nguyen Chia's copy to make sure that final page, which appears to have a chapter 8 on it, is uh, part of his document, please? Nguyen Chia comprend bien la dernière page du document. C'est le figure le chapitre 8. Response. Yes, there is an article 30 in chapter 8. Thank you. Now, one or two more matters. Last week, we discussed the development of the communist movement uh, in uh, Cambodia, which culminated with the renaming of the Workers' Party as the Communist Party of Kampuchea. Is it correct that you did not announce this uh, new name until several years later? That is, you did not announce publicly that the Communist Party of Kampuchea had been formed. Response. It is not I alone either to declare and to make it official. It depends on the standing committee with Paul Paul and the, as the secretary. And the reason why Paul Paul did not make the official announcement is due to the situation. The situation at the time was not yet appropriate for the Communist Party of Kampuchea to make its presence known officially. 
And in fact, uh, in the um, revolutionary flag special issue of September 1977, D243-2.1.12, uh, English ERN 00486215, Khmer 00063120, and French 00492799, was an announcement made that the party has decided to publicly and officially announced the Communist Party of Kampuchea to the country and the world. Do you recall that occasion? Response, I could not fully understand your question. Could you please ask me again? Was the uh, was an, a, a public and official announcement made of the formation of the Communist Party of Kampuchea to the country and to the world uh, some uh, 17 years after the founding of the Communist Party of Kampuchea. Do you recall that? Response. The event occurred long time ago. However, the main reason for the party not to make an official or public announcement, the party was still in its small scale and it was still developing itself in the struggle movement. It was still expanding itself to make an orderly structure within the party. And if a public announcement was made, there could be consequences which were not beneficial to the party. The party would make the announcement once it has had a proper structure with the support, support from the masses and the support from overseas, then it would be right for the party to make the announcement. At that time, Pol Pot made his trip abroad, for example, to Vietnam, to China, in order to make familiar to them the strategic and technical lines of the party, that is the Communist Party of Kampuchea. The purpose of his trips, let me say, Pol Pot, upon his return, informed us that the Communist Party of Vietnam was not happy with us, that we did not seek their advice on the establishment of the statute of the party, for instance. However, the Communist Party of China said that the making of our lines was appropriate based on the analysis of the social strata And from that event, the Communist Party of Cambodia was in a position to liaise with other Communist Parti parties around the world, for example, in China and in Thailand and a number of other countries. 
they actually invited us to Et meet with them in order to exchange our experiences and to learn from one another regarding the lines of our party and theirs. So then our party was gradually known in the international stage. Sur la scène internationale. Finally, I want to Question. ask you, Nguyen Chia, uh, if you recall when the decision si to evacuate Phnom Penh was made. La décision d'évacuer Phnom Penh. Response. Response. From my recollection, the decision to evacuate the dwellers in Phnom Penh was done through a series of meetings starting from 1973. The situation was analyzed and at that time it was considered that the America decided to suspend their aid through Cambodia, and America used their bombers to bombard Cambodia. The CPK made an analysis that if the America ceased their bombardment in Cambodia, we would have the ability to win in a short term because they bombard the lunar soldiers and the Serimata at a weaker stage. They were weaker, so we saw strive to attack them and to gain victory before the victory gained in Vietnam. If Vietnam gained their victory before us, they would then come to control Cambodia. And upon such an agreement, a decision was made on the first January 1975 as the day of the commencement of the final attack against Phnom Penh. You spoke of a series of meetings uh, leading up to this decision on the 1st of January. Were these meetings of the party's central committee? No. Response. Question. From my recollection, the souviens, meetings at the Central Committee was were an extraordinary ones. Cette réunion du Comité Central était une réunion extraordinaire. When they they also held a meeting to make that decision in an extraordinary session. La réunion à laquelle la décision a été prise était They decided to choose that date for the final attack in 1975. The party central committee instructed the CPK delegation, including Pol Pot, Nguyen Chia, to go for negotiation with Nguyen Wan Linh Avec Ning Wan Ling to inform them the plan to liberate uh, the Phnom Penh in our final attack de, notre so that Vietnam would need to give us the weapons finale. given to us Nous by China that they kept for quite a long time ago. Qui nous été par la Chine, mais qui avait été conservé and we asked them to deliver us certain truckloads of those weaponry. So we discussed and negotiated with Nguyen Van Linh, and Nguyen Van Linh consented to that request. The types of weapons and were given to us, delivered to us in a village opposite the Chilong area. 
That is opposite the glass Chlong. factory in Chlong. Donc à Chlong, de l'autre côté de la Vertu. I discussed with Paul Pot that if the certain tracks were Pot, placed in one si location, it might be possible un for unique, a bomber to drop bombs. One day after I made that speech, un three planes came and dropped bombs, destroying the weapons in those trucks. Détruisant one bomb even exploded in the glass factory. The weapons were completely destroyed. Regardless, the Revolutionary Army of Cambodia continued with their struggle until they gained a victory from one to another. Jusqu'à la victoire. I do not have any idea as to whether it was the spy or the Je Vietnamese agent si, uh, ce sont des espions, who des told the Lunar Authority to uh, pinpoint our location for the bombardment de où nous nous trouvions pour que and cet emplacement puisse être bombardé. those who went to receive the ammunition and weaponry was from the north, that Et is Camrat Po. After the Geneva Convention in 1954, he went Après, to study Genève, in the north of Vietnam. Vietnam. Actually, he went to study there for 16 years, and upon his return, ans, he was tasked with maintaining a warehouse for ammunition and weapons. He was the core person in liaison with the Vietnamese. So this is an event regarding the uh, certain track load of weapons that were completely destroyed by the American bombardment. And are you able to confirm that you and Pot participated in the Central Committee meetings, uh, including the extraordinary meeting when the decision was made uh, to evacuate Phnom Penh? Response. Réponse. Yes, there was a meeting. Oui, il y a une réunion. The situation regarding the Phnom Penh was in a dire consequence. People were Phnom starving Penh since 1972. Extreme. There was no more food storage or food reserve. There was no more food storage or food reserve. stock de nourriture. There were incidents, riots, Il y a eu des incidents, des as many people des were unemployed, there were many beggars, soldiers did not receive their les salary, pas leur solde. and Lunol could not control the situation. Avait perdu le contrôle de la situation. And people did not have any food to eat. Les gens pas assez à manger. As far as I know, and based on the report sache, aussi, uh, of our people in Phnom Penh, many young children died as a result of starvation. Aussi qui sont morts de and based on the analysis of such situation, the CPK faire, formed a due that a pensé, while Vietnam was striving to liberate uh, Pre no go, in the own plan and strategy, Pre that they initially had the plan to liberate Pre no go in 1956, we, chose faire we shall also have to liberate Phnom Penh in 1956 Pen. or even before that, that is 1955. Et une idée que and nous if avons eu dès Vietnam liberated before us, 
they would deploy their soldiers under the guise of assisting us in Phnom Penh and then controlled us. Ils déploieraient des troupes chez nous et prendraient le contrôle du Cambodge. That is the first main reason. The second main reason is that if Phnom Penh were to be liberated, the lunar soldiers, the soldiers belonging to Seung Ngoc Thanh, the soldiers of Lon Nol and the soldiers of Sok Son Ngoc Thanh, and those who were like the vagabonds, who only were the players, womanizers, or heavy drinkers, what so we dealt with them. It would be problème. difficult. So that is the second reason. And for the third reason, raison, we, as we were at the countryside, we did not Nous have abundance of food or materials. However, if we compare our livelihood si there with the people in living in Phnom Penh, and there were about 3 million of them, de, de we were better because we lived in cooperatives, we helped one another. Then we decided that we had to evacuate the residents in Phnom Penh temporarily. And then we would see what the situation unfolds, how the liberation in Vietnam was going, and whether the Americans still wanted to play, to have their hand in this affair. So in order to prevent the further loss of the lives of people, we needed to evacuate humaine, the people fallu donc évacuer to various provinces and cooperatives so that they would have food to eat. And then during the meeting at the zone Committees, dans les réunions, we discussed how many zones zone, could take in the number of Phnom Penh residents to be evacuated. From my recollection, the northwest zone, zone has reached Seoul and they could afford to take more residents. I think 1.5 million people were offered to be taken to the northwest. The southwest zone also offered to take more people, and for those zones with small piece of lands or the barren lands, they only offered to take limited amounts of the Phnom Penh residents. People living in Phnom Penh did not engage in hard labor. When they came, they joined hands with the local residents to share food and to learn from the cooperatives in order to transform those who did not do any hard work to be able to become a laborer. Those newly evacuated people, of course, could not do as much work as the local people, as they did not do that in the past. So they were only tasked to do moderate work. And the food ration is also different. They could eat three times a day in the morning, gruel. For Le lunch, they would have cooked rice, and in the evening, they also would cook, have cooked rice. And once per week, they would be offered a dessert. Ils un dessert. It could be implemented in a number of cooperatives. Cela, ça a However, pu être dans there were still bad elements in Mais some of the cooperatives. Dans certaines they intended to destroy the cooperatives. Il y avait des éléments For example, they destroyed those. Par exemple, they 
utensils, for des example, gens qui the pots, the les ustensiles, spoons, les they marmites, destroy them, they threw les them away at the totally sap. And as a result, in some cooperatives, there were shortages of those cutleries. Et donc, dans certaines coopératives, ces ustensiles de cuisine event. manquaient. Moi-même, j'ai assisté à un certain épisode un jour. AM, vers 4 heures du matin, j'étais en voie. J'étais dans un véhicule, je me rendais à Siem Rieb, j'ai vu un attroupement, j'ai demandé aux gens morning. où ils allaient si tôt le matin. I was told they Et on m'a répondu qu'ils allaient repiquer so du riz. Quand j'ai demandé pourquoi ils allaient si tôt, ils ont dit que tel était l'ordre donné said, par no, le supérieur. Right. However, if I Et dit went to que cela n'allait pas. A base which was well informed earlier then they would allow me to see only wealthy healthy people Par contre, not the skinny ones lorsque j'allais quelque part et que ma venue avait été annoncée à l'avance on me faisait rencontrer des gens bien nourris et en bonne santé et on me disait que ces gens étaient les membres des coopératives Knew that à certains endroits, level went to visit, que then la we visite de certains, and provided with food. certaines personnalités haut placées allaient they venir en visite, and beef une nourriture abondante nous était offerte, so there were du bœuf, du poulet, like tricks and trickery employed in certain des stratagèmes étaient donc utilisés dans certaines coopératives elements, car il y avait certains course, mauvais éléments there, there bien sûr il y avait toujours des bons éléments dans les coopératives We tried to manage the situation nous avons essayé de gérer of la situation had sufficient food to eat Certaines coopératives avaient assez de d'autres non, à cause de ces mauvais éléments. Voilà quelle était la situation réelle. The Communist Party of Kampuchea, Le Parti communiste du Kampuchea was formed in the society where it was chaotic. Dans une société où régnait le chaos. It was not a party established cleanly from the heaven. Ce parti n'est pas tombé du ciel. Therefore, we strive to educate ourselves. Nous avons tenté de nous instruire. Nous nous sommes efforcés to consolidate amongst ourselves the new and the old people, the 17 April people, de for example. Rassembler les anciens et les nouveaux, ceux du 17 avril. But we were still Mais destroyed by the bad nous elements. avons été anéantis par for les mauvais example, éléments. We instructed to screen Un good exemple. seedlings and seeds. But then the bad elements would only put the L'objectif and spoil seeds de recueillir for les meilleures graines as a result, mais les mauvais éléments choisissaient les mauvaises graines pour les recueillir et du coup the higher production. la productivité agricole n'était pas élevée ça c'est un exemple and that's what i saw while i inspected the base j'en ai été témoin lorsque je me suis rendu so the management administration is a complicated issue it was not that easy for us at the time administrer un pays n'est pas chose aisée pour nous à l'époque c'était difficile and then we were accused that the par ailleurs Democratic Kampuchea killed millions of people but in fact who actually killed the people d'avoir tué un grand nombre de personnes mais qui a tué des gens is a patriotic party est un parti they sacrifice everything for the part, for the nation and the people so that the people, the people, the the people would have sufficient food to eat assez à manger in order to build a society afin de construire which is 
uh, which shall have sufficient une société food au sein de laquelle chacun aura assez à manger mean plenty of food for the rich but sufficient food il for the poor who did not have pour sufficient les food riches, in the past mais pour qu'il y ait assez à manger but the internal destruction occurred de nourriture. Both internal Mais une and external destruction in particular in the East. surtout dans l'Est. Of course, I don't blame everything on the Vietnamese. Je ne rejette pas toute la faute not sur many, les Vietnamiens, bien sûr. Not millions of Vietnamese in Cambodia, but there were hundreds of thousands of them. Il n'y avait pas des millions de Vietnamiens au Cambodge, Cambodia. mais des centaines de milliers d'entre eux. And after the Paris Agreement et après l'accord de Van Linh Paris avec le Vietnam, Lien Van Linh proposé de renvoyer les Vietnamiens so au Vietnam pour qu'ils puissent participer But aux élections. There were still Vietnamese Mais living il est resté des Vietnamiens au Cambodge in their plans to destroy the party to destroy our independence, sovereignty and integrity. Le parti, l'indépendance, souveraineté et l'intégrité de notre pays. The situation that we suffered was also a result of the lines implemented by the Vietnamese in order to destroy Vietnam us. En vue de nous anéantir. Their plan was not known Leur widely either in the country or at the international stage. Even China, China even mistaken that Vietnamese Même actually supported a Abuja que le Vietnam soutenait le Until the secretary Cambodge. of the party went to explain to China and then they understood the situation. Pour donner des explications quant à la situation réelle. That's all, John. J'en ai terminé. Yes, thank you, Nguyen Chia. Uh, President, I have no further questions, uh, but I do have some documents I wish to place before the chamber, and perhaps that can be done after the break. Peut-être qu'on pourra le faire après l'interruption de l'audience. Thank you. Le um, président. It is now. Merci. Appropriate to Le moment uh, take an adjournment. So the uh, chambers would like to take a 20 minutes Pour recess and we will come back at 5 past 11. The security guards are instructed to bring the accused uh, to the holding cell uh, downstairs and bring them back to this uh, courtroom à la by 5 past 11. Thank you. Et de les ramener dans le prétoire à 11h05.